Life is not easy in Kibera. Where we're standing is in the middle of the slum. We are surrounded by different things, we have children around us, we have people around us. We have children, some of them go to school, others do not. Some because of poverty, some because of negligence uh, of their parents. There are also businesses, uh, different types of business, different levels of businesses. It's good to, re to understand and to appreciate that there are people in Kibara who live large. And there are people in Kibara who are extremely poor. So it's like a cosmopolitan area. There are people who live, uh, as it said, under a dollar a day. There are people who earn good earnings. Just for the sake of living, people, people will go to any length to make sure they, they put bread on the table. People engage into different things to make their ends meet. If young people want, who move into crime or move into immorality, just because life has not been easy, has not been fair for them. But all along, uh, we have a lot of hope around us. I remember a young man uh, who was part of our youth group. He came to the youth group because we had a soccer club for them and he was very good in soccer, but he was not born again. He was one of the people we had tried everything to change and this guy was not changing. As time went on, for one reason or another, we were not able to continue the soccer club. Later on, I happened to meet this young boy. And the young boy told me, Pastor, you know what? I gave my life to the Lord. And today, I'm earning for my life. And whenever I'm not working, whenever I don't get a job to do, I am in the church praying. And that gave me hope, seriously, to continue doing what I do, even if I don't see the fruits. But I know something is happening in the lives of people.